In a world where innovation knows no bounds, 3D printers are at the forefront of transforming how we design, build, and create. From engineers crafting intricate prototypes to hobbyists printing custom gadgets at home, 3D printing has revolutionized industries and brought complex ideas to life. Whether you're a professional looking for precision or a beginner exploring the possibilities, the right 3D printer can make all the difference. To help you find the right model, we've listed the top five best 3D printers and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. So let's get started. Number five, QIDI Plus 4. The QIDI Plus 4 is a professional grade 3D printer designed for users who prioritize precision over multi-material capabilities. Its fully enclosed Core XY frame, heated chamber, and hardened 370 degrees Celsius hot end provide exceptional material flexibility, supporting everything from PLA to demanding technical filaments like ABS, ASA, polycarbonate, and other engineering grade materials. With a generous 300 by 305 by 280 millimeter build area, the Plus 4 is well suited for large prototypes, multi part projects, or small batch production runs. During testing, the Plus 4 consistently delivered outstanding dimensional accuracy and fine surface detail, even on complex or oversized models. Brackets and engineering components are printed cleanly and with precise tolerances, reinforcing its reputation as a machine built for professional prototyping and functional design work. Warping was minimal thanks to the heated chamber, allowing technical materials to perform as intended. The machine's user experience is equally solid. The slicer software may not be the most stylishly designed, but it is intuitive, powerful, and well-optimized for the printer's capabilities. Combined with the responsive touchscreen interface, filament sensors, and robust slicing options, the workflow is reliable and business-ready. Errors were rare, and those encountered were more often the result of operator mistakes rather than issues with the hardware itself. That said, the Plus 4 does demand a more careful setup and maintenance routine compared to hobbyist-level printers. Initial calibration requires attention, and tasks such as chamber cleaning or module replacement are more involved. The printer is also heavy, making it impractical to move once installed. Its price point sits above consumer models, but this is justified by its exceptional consistency and professional-level features. Overall, the QIDI Plus 4 is a serious investment for professionals and businesses who require accuracy, reliability, and the ability to print advanced materials with confidence. Number 4. Prusa Core 1 The original Prusa Core 1 stands out as a professional-grade FDM 3D printer designed with businesses and prototyping labs in mind. What makes it so valuable is not just its speed, but its remarkable consistency and print quality. In my experience, it delivers some of the best results you can achieve with FDM, thanks to its rigid, all-metal core XY architecture and enclosed design. From setup to the very first layer, the Core 1 feels like a machine built for reliability and long-term use, making it suitable for production-style environments with minimal supervision. Integration is another strength. Through Prusa Slicer and Prusa Connect, it's easy to centralize management of multiple machines. In my own workflow, I run a Core 1 alongside MK4 and MK4S units, all seamlessly monitored and controlled through the same system. This makes it an ideal fit for small businesses and design labs that need scalable efficiency. The print quality itself is consistently excellent across materials, whether printing simple PLA models or tougher engineering parts in ASA. Features like automatic bed leveling, filament sensors, and precise extruder calibration streamline the workflow. While it lacks AI cameras and real-time monitoring seen in some newer machines, I found that the Core One's mechanical stability makes such additions largely unnecessary. Of course, there are limitations. Its 250 by 220 by 270 millimeter build volume is smaller than some industrial rivals, which means larger models may need splitting. Spare parts can be costly, 
and the machine's upfront price is above hobbyist levels, though still competitive considering its reliability, support, and integration features. The Core One's upcoming MMU3 multi-material upgrade promises even greater versatility. Until then, it remains my go-to business printer. Dependable, adaptable, and consistently ready to deliver professional quality prints. Number three, Creality High Combo. When I first tested the Creality High, I had to double check the price, as it was hard to believe a printer at this level could deliver such impressive results. Since then, it has become one of my firm's favorites and a regular recommendation for anyone wanting to get started with multicolor 3D printing. The base machine is straightforward to construct, with a solid chassis, responsive touchscreen, auto-leveling bed, and even a built-in camera, features rarely found in this price range. Out of the box, it supports up to four colors via Creality's multi-filament system, making it an excellent choice for hobbyists and crafters wanting to create complex, vibrant models without a complicated setup. In use, the high impresses immediately. Print quality is consistent, and the heated bed provides excellent adhesion, keeping both large and small prints secure. Bridging and overhangs perform well, and while the small camera isn't the most advanced, it allows remote monitoring through Creality software, which is a welcome touch. The touchscreen interface is intuitive and easy to navigate, while auto-leveling takes care of the more tedious manual adjustments, letting you get to printing faster. That said, the high isn't perfect. While it handles four-color jobs very well, dimensional accuracy can slip slightly on fine details compared to more expensive models. The open frame design also limits the range of materials, with PLA being the most practical choice. Filament changes generate waste during color swaps, and the strong bed adhesion, while generally positive, can make small or delicate models tricky to remove. Overall, the Creality High is a surprisingly capable, feature-rich printer at an affordable price. For anyone looking to explore multicolor 3D printing without breaking the bank, it's a hard option to beat. Number 2. Anycubic Cobra 3 Combo The Anycubic Cobra 3 Combo is an excellent choice for individuals or small businesses looking for a compact, intuitive, and beginner-friendly 3D printer that still delivers the performance and accuracy to grow with your skills. Having tested various iterations of Anycubic machines over the years, I've always found them reliable once set up, and this model continues that tradition with some smart upgrades. The standout addition is the Anycubic Multifilament Ace Pro system, which now enables easy multicolor printing and will appeal to both beginners and more advanced users. Build quality is one of the first things that impresses. The sturdy frame feels stable and the included instructions are clear, guiding you through every step of construction before the responsive touchscreen takes over. Calibration is largely automated, and from the very first print, the auto-leveling proves accurate and consistent, even after months of use. This reliability removes much of the frustration often associated with entry-level 3D printers. The Ace Pro multi-filament unit deserves special mention. While it requires its own power source, Rather than drawing from the printer, it simplifies material changes and color transitions, offering a near plug-and-play four-color print solution. Print quality is generally good, with minimal ridging and clean overhangs, while supports are relatively easy to remove. Although it can't match the ultra-precise results of high-end Core XY machines, it still produces very respectable models, perfect for figurines, props, prototypes, and general creative projects. Another strength lies in its flexible speed settings. These are simple to adjust and strike a good balance between print quality and completion time. On the downside, the Ace Pro does generate some material waste when switching colors, though this is typical of most multifilament systems. The build volume at 250 by 250 by 260 millimeters is modest, meaning very large projects aren't possible but it should more than meet the needs of most beginners and hobbyists. Overall, the Cobra 3 combo strikes a rare balance between ease of use, reliability, and creative potential, making it an ideal, beginner-friendly, yet capable, multi-filament 3D printer. Number 1. Creality K2 Plus Combo 
The Creality K2 Plus is shaping up to be one of the standout FDM 3D printers of 2026, especially for makers who want speed and multicolor capability in a single package. This machine runs at a cruising speed of 300 millimeters per second, with acceleration up to 30,000 millimeters per second squared, putting it in the same performance league as Bamboo Labs X1 series. But where Creality takes the lead is in versatility. Thanks to its new Creality filament system, the K2 Plus can seamlessly print in four colors, opening the door to far more creative builds. With a 350 by 350 by 350 millimeter build volume, it outpaces many rivals when it comes to size, making it suitable for larger models, prototypes, or even small batch production. The high flow nozzle reaches 350 degrees Celsius, while the heated build chamber keeps prints stable, enabling the use of almost any filament, from PLA and PETG to engineering grade materials like PCTUP is supported too, though it requires a side mounted spool due to the flexible nature of the filament. Creality has been criticized before for borrowing ideas, particularly from Bamboo Lab, but the K2 Plus adds important refinements. The printer supports offline printing, runs open source clipper firmware, and retains a DIY spirit that appeals to enthusiasts while still being accessible to newcomers. Setup is straightforward, and the machine runs quietly with carbon filtration, making it practical for both home and office use. There are minor drawbacks. The CFS tends to waste a bit more filament compared to Bamboo's AMS, and the thick aluminum build plate requires a proper warm-up before use. Still, for $1,499 four-color combo, the K2 Plus delivers speed, scale, and multicolor creativity in a way few printers can match. It's an excellent balance of performance and openness, staying true to Creality's roots while embracing modern 3D printing trends. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up, leaving a comment, and subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so you never miss out on our latest videos.